Hello and welcome. Today we'll look at the Google Sheets plugin. Before we start, please note that this video was recorded before many of the new Stu enhancements were released, and some of the contents are out of date. For example, instead of using a series of, go to, and, text input, for constructing subroutines and visualizing the return values, now we have, call function, for subroutines and, view variable, and citizen log plugins for visualizing values in the bot's memory. Nevertheless, we have decided to keep this video as it is still useful in explaining how to use some of the Google API plugins, the Google Token plugin, and, of course, the GoTo operation. Now please enjoy the contents. In this video, we will talk about the Google Sheet plugin. So, this is Google Sheet over here. As usual, before you start using the Google Sheet plugin, go to your supervisor account. Come to the plugin menu. And under my plugin tab, turn on Google Sheet like this. And also, you need Google Token to be switched on as well. You need both plugins. Now back to Stu. Google Sheet plugin includes functions of the Google Sheet API from Google. We have integrated nine functions. By opening this pull-down menu, you see nine functions right here. In this automation scenario, I will be showcasing each one of these functions one by one in a sequential way so that you can see them in action. First, let me explain about the credentials. Google Sheet API requires this credential file, but we're not using credential value. Instead, we're using token pickle. When you go to Google Sheet API and when you enable its service, you'll be able to obtain Google Sheet credentials. However, authentication process using the Google Sheet credential requires this manual approval every time. Which means the API is going to give you a pop-up screen and ask you if you're going to approve the usage of the credentials by this robot. This human in the loop scheme does not work very well with any automation. So we have decided to convert Google Sheet API credentials into a token, which is going to be saved inside Google Sheet API system. So that you don't have to do this manual authentication process. Now, let me show you how to convert the credentials files into a token. It's actually very easy by using the Google Token plugin right here. What you do is once you receive a Google API credentials file, just give it to this plugin and run it once. Please make sure to choose Google Sheet here. Again, just give the credential file here and run this plugin once, it will return the token file, which you are going to use at the Google Sheet plugin. By the way, all these things I just explained of course are in our help wiki contents. Google token is being explained here and Google Sheet everything is explained here. Okay? Now let's remove this step and start explaining the automation scenario, operation by operation. It's starting with a timestamp, and it's right here because I want to obtain a unique character string for a file name. Giving it to this Google Sheet plugin which is creating a spreadsheet. As this spreadsheet needs a unique name, I am using the output of timestamp. Okay. After creating a new spreadsheet, I have the second Google Sheet which will be writing data onto this spreadsheet. The source data is local CSV. Then, moving on to the next one which will give a name to the sheet. Default sheet name of course is sheet1, so I'm going to rename that to names and emails like so. Then the next one is going to add a new sheet to the spreadsheet, followed by the next one that will be duplicating the sheet. Then, I'm moving on to delete the sheet, so it is not very meaningful but just for demonstrating purpose as I duplicate and delete. Getting right back to where I started. Now, renaming the entire spreadsheet or the book is the next function. So I'm going to give a new name to this spreadsheet right here. Then, I move on to replace a value, this is an interesting one. I'm going to look for value or string that says enter. And replace them with input. Finally, I'm reading from the spreadsheet and typing that onto a notepad which will be open on my desktop. So that's the basic sequence. Additionally, as you may have noticed, I have quite a few dialogues in between these Google Sheet plugins. The purpose of these dialogues is to pause the bot and give me an opportunity to double check these actions to see if they have been performed successfully. In other words, they are simply pauses in between these Google Sheet plugins. 
except for this one right here, as it serves sort of as a special pause. It's actually from the interactive tool menu, this is going to ask me for a value, so I am going to enter something into this pop-up window that is going to be fed into the next Google Sheet operation, which is deleting a sheet. I can give any value here to be used in the automation scenario, in this case sheet ID, and store that into this variable that will be given right here now to delete. Another thing you might have noticed are these go-tos. As you see in step 2, there is a sequence of this pattern that starts notepad, input text, and then go-to. These operations are basically taking the return value from the Google Sheet API and printing it or typing it onto a notepad so that I can visualize what got returned from Google as a result of the action. After showing that it is designed to go right back to where it came from in step 1. Today, instead of using go to and type text on a notepad, you can simply use citizen log operation to generate your original log file, to keep track of the automation scenario execution and status. Also, you find call function, view variable to help you debug in a much more efficient way. Now, let's start the bot. First creating a new Google Sheet in this Google Drive. Now the bot says check to see if a new spreadsheet got created. Indeed, a new spreadsheet is here with the name 22703131054. Let's open it so that we can see the bot in action. Next operation reads a local CSV and paste the data into this new spreadsheet. Done. Then the bot will change the sheet name right here, so please pay attention there. Okay, sheet name got changed. The return value from this specific action is the sheet ID and spreadsheet ID. The next action is duplication, it is going to happen, and the new sheet ID just got created by Google. Here is the new sheet ID result of the duplication. And this is the original ID original sheet ID and spreadsheet ID unchanged. The next function is the delete sheet. It requires a sheet ID which I will give via the user param operation. Now the sheet just got deleted. And this is the spreadsheet ID. Next, it will rename the entire spreadsheet. So, new name from spreadsheet just got typed here. Originally remember, it was the timestamp string. The bot will now proceed. Please pay attention to this section right here. All these enter are going to be replaced with a new string, so check that all enters were replaced with input so the replacement is successful. The bot will read data from here to here, and it will be displayed like this. The execution of the bot was successful. Thank you.